Hello and welcome. My name is Charlie Roscoe and uh, Gran Turismo 7 is out. Today is launch day. I have now gone through an unlocked sport mode so you actually don't have access to multiplayer as soon as you jump in the game. Uh, I have made a video on that which I will link in the description and also in one of the doovers probably on the screen there. Uh, so make sure you go and check that out. But I have unlocked the sport mode you can see uh, over the right hand side here. So we're going to jump into that, have a look at today's daily races and see what it does offer up. Um, so if we jump in there, you can see that there's still just the three daily race formula. There doesn't look to be any provisions for a daily race D or E or whatever the case may be. Uh, and daily race C is actually just not yet available at all. Um, so I, I doubt it's a progression thing, but maybe I need to unlock more stuff to, to get into that. Either way, I don't have access at the moment. The two that I do have access to are... Uh, Race A and Race B. Race B is the one I'm interested in at the moment. That's at Deep Forest Raceway, which will be a pretty nostalgic experience for a lot of you guys, I'd imagine. Um, and you can see that the way it's categorized is into brake horsepower. So what it's going to do is open up the possibility of you using whatever car you like, uh, as opposed to having to get a, a BOP car out of the category um, I, I think it looks at this stage, and we need to do a bit more exploring again, it's launch day today, uh, but it looks like you can probably grab whatever car um, fits the categories, and if I go into that, um, you can see that the car type is specified, the power, the weight, um, no nitrous, and the tyre choice uh, is all specified, but that doesn't really narrow down the type of car you've got, which is really great, and it might mean that there's a huge amount of cars that you can actually do. Uh, so I went and tuned the car because the Scirocco was one, uh, it was a car that I won, and I think it only came stock with 250 odd horsepower, maybe a little bit less. So I did go and tune that car up. Let's go and have a look at that. And while I click into that, uh, just a reminder, if you enjoy this video, to please leave a like. And if you uh, would like to see more Gran Turismo 7 content, uh, videos and live stream, uh, to hit subscribe on that. But I went into the tuning shop here, and uh, there's four categories up the top, and I'm not going to go with them, uh, through them in too much detail, but I kind of stuck with the club sports period, uh, segment uh, as opposed to the semi-racing um, and that sort of thing, which is available. It's quite expensive. I don't want to blow uh, my whole budget in the first lot, and I don't know if I'll be competitive online yet. That's what we're going to find out in this video. So you can see what I've purchased. I've done some suspension upgrades, um, bored the engine out, put some, uh, put some lumpy cams in her, uh, but let's go back over to the sport mode. Uh, I'll do a bit of practice. Oh, I don't want to do that. Um, we'll do a little bit of practice, and then through the magic of editing, we will cut to a point where I am just about to start this race. Okay, welcome back to uh, Deep Forest Raceway. My first look at the track. Um, it's obviously one that a, little, a lot of people are going to have nostalgia for. I don't personally really have that. I didn't play a lot of the old Gran Turismo games. Um, and this, I, I don't know, this, I do kind of remember Deep Forest Raceway, but I also don't remember it being like this. So this could be fairly well reworked. Uh, now, I did manage to do in the 14 or so minutes practice I had, uh, I did manage to do a 146.0. That has put me on top. Um, I don't know if any of these guys you can see are AI. I don't know if they're blending real people with AI, especially because you would think um, the numbers are going to be fairly tight. I just stuck with the Scirocco. I'm not sure if it's a, a good car or not. You can see some of the other guys. Uh, and they actually reset their driver rating and safety rating as well. I did not on this account. Um, I think on another account, I might, uh, I might reset the driver rating on my second account. Um, but anyway, this could be a lot of your first look at this currently. So we're gonna we're gonna have a crack in the Scirocco. You can see uh, there's an NSX Type R. There's a bit of a mixture of cars, which is great um, to see. But uh, sports hard is the tyres. Here we go. Okay, not a great start. A few grip issues there with the front wheel drive. But we had a fair bit of pace over them in terms of lap time. So let's just see how we go. Eh? Almost immediate murder, but he held it up, the big fella, to be fair, in the NSX. Side by side. It's going to be a way to test out the penalties, etc. as well. Okay, so he's just sort of... Sort of running to the side of me. Accidents behind, you can hear all sorts of clangs and batters. I don't think I made. I don't think I made contact with him, man. Did I? It certainly didn't feel like I made contact with him. I think he might have just got his uh, 
He's turning wrong. Yeah, I don't I don't really don't remember Deep Forest looking like this. Um, but anyway, it looks nice. Uh, interested to know your thoughts on the track, what you think of it, if it looks like it could produce some good racing or not. Um, there's sort of lots of, there's a couple of heavy braking zones. So kind of like that, for example, would be a good one to, I don't know what happened to old mate there, just tried to accelerate and didn't go anywhere. Whoa, he got, whoa, he's got real loose behind me. Try and scooch on through. I can tell you that the barrier penalties are a little bit harsher than GT Sport. So if you give one a bit of a clout, you sort of immediately get a second and a half. Second and a half uh, penalty. Uh, I have changed view, of course, as well. I know it looks a lot more appealing. Those of you who were watching me on the live stream last night, I sort of stuck to the whole live stream in car. So to go up to what I can only imagine is one of those donut cams that sits on the roof. It's a bit jarring. Uh, but I do find... I'll play the single player stuff all inside the car, I'd imagine. But in the online multiplayer, I do find this view gives you a better sort of peripheral vision and just better vision in general. Um, but yeah, like some of these, some of these names look real. Uh, some of these names look like bots. Now I don't know if AI are in online lobbies in, in GT7. It might be a thing. Just looking at like Kaz and Ringo. Um, they could of course be real players. And if they are, and you're watching this, welcome. <laughs> that, was, that was a bit deep. That was a bit deep. Uh, so it's only a four lap race. And unfortunately I do have a pretty substantial uh, lead. So um, hopefully you enjoyed two laps of Deep Forest. I'm not particularly good at this track. I've got no nostalgia and I've done about 14 minutes practice on it. I've not yet figured out my rate braking markers. As you can see as I go deep again. Plus the sports hard tyres are only good to a point. Uh, but I might jump ahead to the end of the race because I, uh, I'm 10 seconds in first. Uh, huge victory. Right, so as we go through the tunnel for the final time in this race, I think I've decided that none of the people in this are AI. What I was forgetting was that it's displaying not your PSN, but the nickname you entered. So I entered the name Roscoe as a nickname, but my um, PSN name is different. So that's why we're sort of getting some more simple first names. Uh, I do believe they are all real people. Um, but yeah, that was my first online race in GT7. That's my first race uh, here at this particular racetrack. And uh, it's gone rather well for me. I've, um, I've stitched the field up a bit, but that's okay. We'll see how we go. Lots of people sort of earning licenses. Uh, I didn't see an option to actually reset my driver rating and safety rating, I must admit. It wasn't a conscious decision, but I could go and have a uh, I could go and have a bit of a look for that and see see how we go. But also, you know, it's day one. We need to allow for other people to catch up. So anyway, that's a first look at some online racing in GT7. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching. Um, and hopefully I'll talk to you next time. But for now, it's goodbye.